Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to user one productions my name is David and in today's unity tutorial we're going to be looking at a med kit system to replenish your health. In the previous two tutorials we looked at a health bar and how we can take damage from an enemy or something in the environment that can hurt us. If you guys have not already seen those two tutorials I highly advise you guys to go watch those first because we will be referencing scripts in today's tutorial and you'll be needing them in your game. As always, my friends, scripts, models, sound effects, everything you can find in this tutorial series will be linked on a Google Drive for a free download in the description. And if you guys come to enjoy today's tutorial, remember to drop me a like. And if you're new, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss another upload by me. And also, you guys, in the comments, let me know what you think about this. I'm thinking of starting a live streaming Twitch channel where I could play video games for you guys on top of doing this tutorial series. If that's something you'd like to watch and come see me play, just let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hop into the finished product and then I'm going to go into the tutorial on how I did this. So here we are in our Unity test scene that we have been slowly developing. Ignore all those boxes over there, that's for another tutorial. But right now we're going to be focusing on these little health pickups right here. So if I go to pick one up, it says health is full and that is because my health is currently full and we would not want to pick it up. In the previous tutorial we looked at this guy and we made some damage to our player, so let's take some damage. And after we're done taking damage, we can go over and use a health pickup. We have a little screen UI as well as a sound effect play, and our health is slowly replenished, as you see here. And then it only goes back up to 100%, which is what we want. So pretty much how the script is going to be working, if you're at 90% health and the health pickup is worth 30 points, you're going to gain back to 120% health. But because the other script makes sure that we only stay at 100 for a max, the 120 is automatically turned into 100. That way we don't have extra health remaining. So what I've done is I placed them on the ground and I made a box collider with an is trigger on right here or else this will not work. And then I added a health pickup script to it. Let's go over that script real quick. At the top here we have everything we could play around with. We have a public game object for the pickup item itself. We reference the player. We have a pickup and cannot pickup text. As well as a public float that you guys can change in the editor, I have defaulted it to 25 and that's the amount we're going to gain back. And then a private float just saying how much health we actually have currently. We also have an audio source for the pickup sound effect. And then we have a public game object for screen effects. Finally we have a little bool saying if we're in reach or not. I'm actually just going to scroll in so you guys can see the script a little bit better. If you guys have not already made the in reach tool, this is a tool that we have in front of our player to tell whether we're in range or not. I go over this in the, I believe, the third or fourth tutorial on the YouTube channel, which is going to be doors. So if you haven't already created the reach tool, I would highly advise you to go do that. So first we have an odd trigger enter, which says if our reach tool becomes in contact with whatever the script is attached to, in reach becomes true. And then we have the text pop up saying pick up item. Scrolling on down on void trigger exit, it completely does the opposite where if we look away from the object, in reach becomes false, pickup text becomes false, and the cannot text becomes false as well. We want this because later on in the script, that text can potentially be turned on, and if we look away, we want to make sure we can turn it off somehow. Alrighty, so now we have a void start. Current health equals player.getComponent player health and health. Okay, so this is more or less saying that the current health, which is referenced up here, grabs the component from whatever the player object is, and it's going to be looking for player health script. That is going to be this script that we went over in the first tutorial on health. So pretty much it's going to grab this component and just make sure it's using its health component, which is referenced right here. What else do we have in the void star? We want to make sure two of our text objects are turned false because we don't want those on automatically. The screen effects and in reach is automatically false too. So that way we can't pick it up even when we're not near it. Right here we have a void update. So more or less if we're in reach, we press down E, which is the interact button that we created and our player health is less than 100. The first thing we want to do is make sure in reach becomes false and I'm going to go over this in just a second why I've done it. We play a pickup sound effect and then we grab that player health script again and we add whatever health we have up here reference which would be 25. Next up we have a screen effect turn on as well as we turn off the mesh collider and box collider for the pickup object which would be the med kit on the ground. Again, we're going to go over this and why I turn in reach false in just a second. Upon turning it on, the pickup text also becomes false. And then we actually start this coroutine to turn the screen effects off. And then we have a little else if statement. So pretty much it's saying if we're in reach, we press down interact, but our health is greater than or equal to 100. The pickup text becomes false. And then it says we cannot pick it up. 
And then because we have this start coroutine, we need to have an I enumerator for turn off screen effects. This is going to yield return new, wait 4 seconds. I have it waiting for 1.25 seconds. And after those 1.25 seconds are up, the screen effect turns off, and then the pickup object actually gets turned off as well. So the reason I have the mesh collider and box collider turned off, as well as the in reach when we first pick up the item, is because we want it to disappear, and we want to make sure we cannot pick it up anymore. Before I wrote these three lines of code, we could actually go up to the game object, it would disappear for a second, and then we could keep pressing E and get more health. In my case, we just want it to be used once and then disappear forever. So by turning off the box collider, we can no longer press E on it because it doesn't have a collider on it. The mesh renderer will make sure it disappears while being able to still use this coroutine. So pretty much if we turned off the object up here in the update after we picked it up, the screen effects would always turn on because that script is technically turned off through that object. More or less, I'm just making sure there's no bugs within the script. Pretty easy. Okay, let's go back into the editor. Make sure we attach the pickup health script to whatever object we have. As I said before, over here in the script, the pickup object is going to be the physical object we're picking up, which would be my medkit. The player is whatever you're using for a player. Pickup text and cannot pickup text are two text objects that I have created. I have them referenced inside my player, inside HUD, inside text. And all they are, if we actually look at this bottom screen here, pickup text, if I flash it on, it is two text objects, one of them saying pick up and the other saying E, and I've placed the E right underneath right here so you know a button to press. We do that by just right clicking, going UI and create a text object. And then I did that same thing for health is full, except there's no interact button because it's just saying the health is full. You can place that wherever you want on the screen, I just have it right underneath my crosshair so the character or player can see it easier. We need to click and drag those into the script itself attached to the med kit which is the pickup text and cannot pick up. We have add health, which I have the 25 right now. You can have this as 50, 33, 74, whatever you want to have it as. But for now, I'll keep it at 25. We then have a health pickup sound effect, which inside my player, again, I have all these empty game objects just to keep it a little more organized. How I've done this is I right click on the player, create empty, and I rename them to whatever. So this would be called sounds. And then I attach all the sound effects inside of him. I do that by just click and dragging the sound effects into the scene, placing them over my character, and then putting them in this empty game object called sounds. When you do this though, you want to make sure play on wake. It'll automatically be turned on. We want to make sure that's turned off. So that way when we first start the game, you don't hear the sound effect. Again, we click and drag that into the script right here. And then we have a screen effect. So again, one more time, we go into our player. I have under my HUD, I've made a new object called screen effects. I've done this again by creating an empty game object, calling it screen effects. And inside screen effects, I right click again, go UI and raw image. And then I scale it proportionally. So width is 1920 by 1080, because that's my monitor size. And that's a pretty easy number to scale down. If I turn it on real quick, you can see that it's just this little box that goes around my player. And it's green because we're gaining health. Later on for screen effects, we'll be creating a red box around our character for when he takes damage. So if we flash that health effects off, we could put it right into the box here for the med kit. And screen effects is health effect. All right. And now if we max on play, play the game, we can walk up to it, look at it, look away, look at it, look away, and the text will disappear. We go to pick it up. It says health is full. Look away again. That text disappears. And then we look at it again. It says pick up. So then if we go take some damage and then we walk over to these med kits, remember this is 25. I'm probably at about 90 ish percent health. So technically we're supposed to go over 100%, but because the script stops it, when we pick it up, we only go back to a hundred. Pretty cool. Pretty easy tutorial. As I said earlier, you guys, if you want this script model, sound effects, screen effects, whatever you want, it'll be linked on a Google drive for a free download. And this is going to be part three of three on how to create health and take damage and all that different stuff. We covered health in the previous two tutorials and now this one being the third one. I hope you all have enjoyed today's tutorial and if you have, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new and click that notification bell. And this is User1Productions signing off for now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.